I want to start by saying that I hate that I'm leaving SAR. He is so much a part of the best that is SAR. The values of the institution are so deeply and intimately intertwined with who I am and what I stand for. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, have a seat, please. The yeah. thing that I'm most gratified about is the work that I have with the students, with the kids. Mark loves spending time with kids. He just loves get it, getting involved in kind of their real day-to-day. -day. First and always, Mark is a teacher. He's a pedagogue. I love teaching English literature because it's a human endeavor. It's all about relationships. He finds the essence of that kid, sees the best in the kid, um, and just has great instinct. And so much of Mark's leadership, I think, is inspiring students to lead. What we've said to kids is no matter who you are, no matter what your personality type is, leadership is an opportunity for everybody. He really believes that every student has a spark in them and has something to give and to share with the rest of the student body. He always had a personal connection with you. And whenever the issue was, whether you just wanted to go into his office to annoy him, whether it was saying good morning to him during davening, he was always there for you. Um, and he would listen. He really knows how to appeal to each student's needs and he knows how to take everyone's interests at best. It's gonna be a great day, SAR, we're gonna win. I've been so moved by how much my students who have graduated here have kept me a part of their lives. We'll get, uh, you know, really long emails from graduates who are a couple years out and saying, like, thank you for changing my life. Mark has really earned the confidence and loyalty and love of his faculty and I think that happens because he's willing to do anything on their behalf. Mark's guidance and leadership is what inspires us to come up with projects that really are to the benefit of our students. His standards and his capacity for empathy really know no bounds. Mark in his great enthusiasm and sense of humor allowed you to take those chances that maybe you weren't willing to take before. Year after year he came up with new ideas, new approaches for professional development, all of it infused with Mark's signature blend of insight, of wisdom, of pedagogical experience, and of humor. Always talking together about what we can do better, what we can do more, how we can think about things differently. Mark is my friend, um, and I think that's actually kind of an amazing thing because he's also my boss. And what's more amazing is that I strongly suspect that almost everybody else who works in this building feels the same way. It is a debate that uh, Dr. Schwartz and I are pretty much running neck and neck as far as our aesthetic look is concerned. I think it's pretty well established in SAR High School that Mark brings a sense of style and flair to everything that he does. I have a little bit more of a classic, timeless feel. Dr. Schwartz is a little bit more avant-garde, I would say. Um, she could not walk in my shoes, nor could I walk in hers. And there is a language around Dr. Shinar. If you wear a sweater, and it's very nice, it's a Shinardigan, it's not just a cardigan. The administration to me is my family. And whenever any of us has something on our mind, we put it on the agenda and we discuss it collaboratively as a team with really one heart. Mark always brings that sense of fun and playfulness to everything we do. We're excited for the state of Israel and for the Jewish people that someone with Mark's energy, vision, wisdom, and leadership is going to be starting a school there. Mazel tov, Abba. Mazel tov, Abba. Mazel tov, Abba. Mazel tov, Abba.